a 32-year-old man put into jail for not paying a $772 traffic ticket, has died after just 17 days because he was denied his medications and effectively left to rot. The harrowing final days of his life, showing his rapid deterioration and sheer neglect, were caught on video and his family want the world to see the video so that the same fate doesn't happen to others. David was denied clothing. He lost 50 pounds in that short space of time, repeatedly suffered convulsions, and even began to hallucinate. Medical experts say that he was he's actually died from untreated drug withdrawal and galling neglect. Now, the medical experts say that he had actually been seeing a doctor already to treat uh, the symptoms of addiction, to beat a heroin addiction that he had. He'd apparently been doing quite well and had been prescribed methadone, Xanax and other medication and when he told correctional officers that he needed this medication while he was behind bars, uh, the officers denied him access to, this, to these drugs and without these drugs the body can go into severe withdrawal. So the family do want the public to see, uh, to see the video, to see what happened to him. So here's a little clip from that video. Now, they didn't provide these drugs to him after he was found even twitching on the floor, as you can see, apparently pleading for necessary medical care and treatment. He began hallucinating, with, which is one of the symptoms of benzodiazepine withdrawal, uh, and he told officers he felt that his organs had been removed, he felt his arms had been shredded, leaving 10% of his heart. Very, very sad state of affairs here, and he was actually stripped naked for his own safety and put on suicide watch with this video monitoring all, him all the time, but without any kind of medical staff, not even one nurse came in to see why he was behaving like this. It's, you know, when every time I, I've seen this now a few times, every time I watch it, it, it really breaks my heart to the point where I have tears in my eyes because this is just so disgusting and so despicable, so preventable. This man, we're talking about an unpaid traffic ticket, you know, a fine. This man did not commit, you know, any, any form of serious issue. And for him to be denied treatment, that's the criminal element element for this, not, not what he did, but police officers watching him convulse naked on the floor, watching this man die, they are culpable, in my opinion, uh, you know, of his death. And I know that that's a very strong statement, but they have an obligation to protect and serve. You tell me what element of what they were doing to this man was protecting and serving. I'd, I'd love to know. And at the end of the day, jail is a holding pen where someone is awaiting a trial. And it just demonstrates how this entire situation, uh, when we're talking about people who don't have as much money, who maybe can't afford to pay a parking ticket, a traffic ticket, it's just a cyclical cycle of a situation where whereby one can go to jail, one can then lose their job because they're spending time in jail for a month, then suddenly they can't pay their rent, suddenly they're homeless. In this case, it led to a man dying. And these, these rules, they just lead to a death sentence for some of these people. And we have to remember, $772, it would definitely cost the state far more than that to keep someone behind bars anyway for a month. It's just, it's despicable. We saw this in a case where a woman, I believe she was in Ohio, who didn't receive um, diabetic medication that she needed. This happened to her as well. You know, this is, there's a criminal element to the story, and I hate to paint police officers like this because there are good ones out there. But in this specific case where they're watching this man on camera convulsing on the floor, he's told them he has a medical issue, and they're not helping him survive over a traffic ticket. That's, the, it's just, it's, it's past disgusting. He was treated less than an animal, less than human in this case and let's just hope that they sue the shit out of this department. Well the family have filed a lawsuit against the county. Uh, this is in Roseville, Michigan and he died in Macomb County Jail. They filed a lawsuit for his wrongful death. According to the lawsuit the medical officers at the jail were informed that he required these medications and they denied him access to them. The suit says the defendants monitored, watched and observed David spending the final 10 days of his life suffering excruciating withdrawal symptoms. So very horrible, sad state of affairs. In this case, just showing an extreme case, an extreme version of what is wrong with this system. So we'd love to know your thoughts on this, um, this, this terrible state of affairs. Just such an unconscionable thing to have happened to this young 32-year-old man. And uh, let us know your comments and thoughts on this in the space below. Please keep watching TLN News for more stories like this.